Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness in the last part I had Cypher Admin Loverina on the ropes and now I'm going to snag your shadow Pokemons Starting out with the Farfetch'd And then we shall Thunderbolt the Altaria and see where that takes us So let's catch Farfetch'd the most useless normal flying bird in the entire bloody game Yeah Farfetch'd we yeah. What? It has next to no health, then how does an Ultra Ball still fail? And Thunderbolt does nice damage to Altaria. Oh crap. Nursering is already confused. And now Ampharos will get confused as well. Splendid. Well then I guess it's a good thing that I don't really need to attack either of them anymore. Because they're already pretty weak and ready for capturing. Although I might just Thunder Wave Farfetch'd for the heck of it. Maybe that gets me a better position to catch it. Oh well. At least he's not gonna kill me fast. Ultra Ball on Altaria and Thunder Wave on Farfetch'd. See how that turns out. I mean, Altaria should be a little harder to catch than Farfetch'd. I reckon. One, two, three. Huh, okay, Altaria does want to stay in the ball. So that's one down. Come on. Freaking figures. Ampharos. Oh, great shadow sky. Farfetch shoots a blast of purple light out of its ass, and all of a sudden it's. Starts purple raining. Flashing light. Yeah. It's kinda weird, but who cares? Okay, Ursaring can refresh and then. Wait, why the hell did I make him refresh? I should have chucked an Ultra Ball at it. Yay, Thunder Wave finally works. It's about bloody time. Okay, if I still fail at capturing that Farfetch'd now, it's just horrible. Shadow Break. Uh-oh. Holy crap. Okay, do not underestimate Farfetch'd. Because it has Shadow Break, which is like the strongest shadow move in the game. Which only a few Pokemon get, and apparently Farfetch'd is one of them. But luckily, it's Ursaring, and Ursaring takes hits like a tank. So far if I just get in the damn ball and we'll heal bell, see if that gets rid of the confusion. Actually, I don't really know if heal bell also gets rid of confusion. Because confusion is not really an official status effect. But it doesn't matter because Farfetch'd is now ours. Splendid. Okay, that's the last. We'll see if Cypher Admin Loverina, thank goodness. Now look what you've done. You've made her very sad. Now get out of my face. You have anything to say for yourself? You're terrible. I mean, really, Master Grief will be oh so cross with me again. Yeah. Don't think Master Grief is gonna make me pay. I'm gonna make Master Grief pay for what he did. Because I'm the protagonist, and as you know, no one ever. Ooh, spot monitor. Screw you, Shadow Dark Isle. We'll be going away again. Yep, distractions for the win. Let's see, you know, Altaria, get out. Because I don't want Altaria for my sixth team member. Because Altaria simply is not very good. But it got better in Gen 5, though. It got, like, Cotton Guard, which raises its defense by three stages. Like, that's a neat move for... A walling Pokemon. Now let's see. Who shall we put up front? Ampharos and Primeape. The dynamic duo. Who keep on failing. Ah, yes. Primeape keeps on dying and Ampharos never does anything useful. And you know what? I'm not gonna care about the spot monitors. I'm going to keep going. For the sake of justice. Because justice comes first. 
Okay, where the hell are we now? There's water flowing. Uh, of course. Proper Richard Philly, sweetie, a little guy like you shouldn't be in here. Hey, I'm not little. Well, he is little, but that's just because he's a kid. Ooh, Crobat and Survivor. Why did I not put Espeon up front? But at least Ampharos will be able to deal with Crobat just fine, and then we'll just have Primeape sort of try to deal with Survivor. But it's five levels lower, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Crobat bites. No flinch, please, no flinch. Okay, Body Slam, let's see what that does. Well, that's a two hit KO, was not expecting that. Of course, Ampharos, you fail me again. And Crunch. What does she have with biting moves? Bite Crunch? It's a good thing there's no. Oh, ha ha ha. Didn't see that one coming now, did ya? Air Cutter, oh crap, Primeape's gonna take a huge hit. And it's not gonna do crap to Ampharos. Is he bulky and he resists it, but Primeape takes it pretty well, actually. I guess that's because it's a move that hits two Pokemon. I think. Don't know for sure, but if you, like, use a move that hits both enemies, the power gets, like, halved or something. Divided over the two opponents. Don't really know for sure. Anyway, it sends out Chimeco. Which. Should not be much of a problem. Crobat dies in one hit. It's not like Crobat can survive Ampharos with Thunderbolt. No way in hell it can. So, what's up next? A Masquerade. Why does she have so many Pokemon that resist fighting? I mean, Primeape's useless here. Thunderbolt on Masquerade and Body Slam Chimeco, I guess. Minus one Body Slam does hardly. Well, about a third. Let's just hope it's not gonna go for a Psychic or something. And one hit KO Primeape. But we won't have to worry about Masquerade anymore. Poor thing. Ampharos almost level 41. Primeape 2. No crap. I call it. Except it's the wrong Pokemon. Stupid AI. Oh well, saves me a trip back to the healing machine. So I'm not complaining. Now just take out the bloody Chimeco and then that problem will be solved as well. Yay, Chimeco fainted. And Ampharos is level 41 and has 105 special attack. It's still nowhere near as good as Espeon, but it's getting somewhere. Aye, I'm sorry for losing easily. Why are you apologizing to me? That doesn't... No. Oh. And now all spot monitors are responding, apparently. Yep. Hmm. Do I wanna... Nah, I don't, I'm not gonna go back. We shall keep on pressing forward. Because that's the heroic thing to do. Hey, is that guy being tortured? No, it's just sleeping. Nah, I was hoping it was being tortured. But no, it's a Pokemon game. Of course, there's no torture. We've got good waves going again. What do you have to say? A whirlpool is created when water currents collide. Try it when you're taking a bath. Yeah, like you, when you spin your hands around in the bathtub, you create whirlpool. It's so much fun. Okay, so here they make the waves that make the island so very hard to get to. Five Ultra Balls. Nice. And what do you have to say? That research funding is more than generous, and it's incredibly fun to create gigantic waves, and Mirror B has appeared. I don't care about Mirror B either. We are on a mission! And... Ooh, more. Three Hyper Potions. I love item boxes in this game. There's always so much in them. I'm going to change to my white lab outfit so don't come in, okay? Aww. I'm not meddling, I'm just looking around. Cypher Peon Litnar. What the hell kind of a name is Litnar? Anyways, Electrode and Miss Drevis. 
Well, it's a good thing I switched Houndoom up front, because he'll deal with Misdreavus pretty easily. And I don't think Electrode likes taking a cross job to his round face. Ugh, of course, there's always light screen. Well, maybe Misdreavus lives the faint attack after all. But cross job wrecks the Electrode, takes it out in one shot. Well done, Primeape. You're almost not m making me regret not choosing Makuhita instead. And next Pokemon is Claydol. Yay, more Pokemon that are weak to dark. But that are immune or resist fighting. Despite the light screen, Fiend Attack still pretty much wrecks it. He goes for Psych Up for God knows what reason, because there's no stat changes at all. So faint attack the Mistrevis because Primeape cannot hit Mistrevis at all. Because he only has fighting and normal moves. I might need to do something about that sometime. But Primeape doesn't really learn a whole lot of TMs that I have. So faint attack, what does that... No, oh yeah, that takes out Mistrevis. Hurry! And what could Claydol be doing? No one else sends out Kangaskhan. Yay, cross chop fodder! Oh wait, it's a Shadow Kangaskhan. No cross chop fodder, we need that thing alive! Wait, Claydol can learn Dig? I did not know that. Well, then I guess we'll charm Kangaskhan to effectively neuter it and then body slam it. To hopefully get some paralysis on. Crap. Why do you keep failing, Primeape? No oh, crap. That did a lot of damage. Well, maybe a charm will put that right back down to zero. And dig. Not on Houndoom. Okay. It didn't really want it on Primeape either, but... That's life. Primeape just keeps on taking the hits. Now this calls for Espeon. We need to faint attack the Claydol and bite on Kangaskhan. Maybe that'll do good damage, or not at all. Maybe the light screen's still up, that's probably it. Why doesn't Primeape have Break Break instead of Cross Chop? Oh god, Claydol don't dig again. Oh yeah, there's always the Shadow Rush. Which gets a crit and pretty much destroys Houndoom. That kind of blow is an ancient power. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't do much. Faint attack on Claydol. Bite on Kangaskhan. And we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, we're getting there. Maybe you need to switch to quick attack now. Another bloody shadow rush. Another critical. Jeez. Right, does that thing have a scope lens or something? Poor Houndoom. Okay, I guess now I really need to go back to the healing machine. Because Primeape and Houndoom are down, and Rose is halfway down. And I'm not going to get very far with just Espeon the Nursering. Finally, the bloody light screen goes away. So, Thunder Wave, Kangaskhan. And maybe we'll just see if we can catch it already. If not, then the Thunder Wave will be wasted, but that does not really matter. Although maybe he has another Pokemon that'll switch in once Kangaskhan's caught, and then that'll get paralyzed. One, two, three... Wow, if only Kangaskhan was so easy to catch in the freaking Safari Zones in all the games. And up next is Bayonet. Which is also a Shadow Pokemon, so yay, Bayonets will get paralyzed. Awesome. Let's just hope Claydol doesn't take out Ampharos, which he doesn't. Sweet. Come on, Ampharos, work your magic, and then in the next part we'll try and catch that Bayonet. So we'll see you in the next part of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Thanks for watching, bye bye.